Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to Old Ridge Farm. Alright, so this is, I guess it would be episode number one. This is kind of a personal save file. I don't know if I'm going to do a full-on series on here, but uh, if you guys would like me to do a full-on series on this farm, by all means, let me know in the comments. Um, however, until that time, this is just kind of like a personal save game I've been messing around with uh, that I've been enjoying. Uh, this is on hard, uh, not on easy, so it's... Uh, a lot different. It's on hard, and uh, probably what will happen is I'm waiting for the soil mod edition to come out, and then I'll probably I might do a full-on series then. Anyways, this is Old Ridge Farm. Everyone has almost everyone has done a, a series on Old Ridge Farm right now because it is a fantastic farm. Um, I really really like the layout of it. It's uh, it's nice. It's challenging. It's not too easy. It's not too hard. It's a good mix of everything, and they have lamb, which is really neat. So I really think that's a cool aspect of it uh, that I think they did a really good job with. Uh, Alright, so we have 20,000 liters of canola and 20,000 liters of soybeans. So, I don't know what I was working on now. Let me check out. Ah, yes, so I do have lambs on this map. I have... I don't know how many lambs I have. Let's see. I have a hundred lambs uh, so far. So as you can see, this is what I got right here. This is a IFA. This is a small little truck. It uh, works really nicely for uh, this map because it's nice and small and it's not uh, oh, there we go it's not too bad so it's like what happens is on this map this feels really loud let me turn that down a little bit there we go um, it's really nice because it's a nice small little truck so it's really maneuverable uh, one of the things I discovered on this particular map is that you need to have really maneuverable vehicles uh, because if you get uh, vehicles that are too large, it becomes really difficult to uh, get things done properly. At least in my opinion. I'm used to playing on really large maps, so it's really different for me to check out this particular map. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play on it, was because it was challenging. Uh, it does have some different aspects that I have never messed around with. For example, lamb fattening. Also, this map also has alfalfa. Look how gorgeous that is. They did a fantastic job with that. I really like the way that looks. Uh, so with alfalfa on this map, uh, as far as I know, you can turn it into chaff, and I think you can mow it as well. I'm not certain about that. I haven't actually tried to mow any alfalfa yet. But I'm pretty sure you can. All right, so we're going back to the main farm here because our animals have enough TMR, or lamb have enough TMR. Uh, let's just check on them real quick here. Uh, they are right at the end. So we have 33 lamb ready right now, and they have TMR, but they also need some straw. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, they need straw. I don't think I even have any fields that are planted with straw-related stuff. Let's check here. Uh, one. I don't own one. I own three up here, which is was in potatoes, and I own... So actually, we harvested everything, right? So we actually need to do a little bit of cultivating. A little bit of planting, actually. Ah, yes, this is where my problem comes into play. All right, so the main farm uh, on this map is... Uh, we'll go forward again, or straight. Forward, straight, whatever. Uh, the main farm is just south of where we are right now. So this field right here we actually own. That was a potato field I used. And the reason why I made that potatoes was because I wanted to make some TMR. So uh, that's how I made TMR for our animals, for, my man, for the animals on this map. Uh, that's what I did. As you can see, uh, most of the fields that we don't own are actually in canola, canola or mostly in alfalfa, actually, which is kind of cool. Uh, so if you want to, uh, if you want to mow it, or if you want to turn it into chaff, you can do so. Also, here we have. This is what I did with all of the. This is how I made my TMR in uh, the with using the fire silo mod. So that is all TMR right there. So we're just going to dump this back into there. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this backed into there without hitting the tractor, hopefully. I guess I could use my mirror. It's funny, when mirrors actually work, it's really nice because you can actually, well, assuming you don't, uh, assuming you don't have a, a mod that switches your camera view, <laughs> but uh, I should be able to dump that back in there. Oh, that's weird. I can't. Interesting. That is really strange, actually. I should be able to. Maybe it's only with... Uh, 
Maybe it's only with uh, front loaders you can do it. That's strange. Because I have TMR in the bucket here, and I should be able just to go plunk. Yeah, see? Weird. Hmm. Guess it doesn't like that. Alright, whatever. Now, uh, this is a John Deere 3650, a smaller old school tractor. Let me just leave that there. Guess we can't just dump it back in, so let's reseal it then. There we go. Guess we'll have to uh, hold on to this for the time being, which is kind of strange. Because I can't do anything else with it right now. That's odd. Hmm. Uh, we only have a small, small amount of money, so we really can't do much. Actually, what I can do, uh, let's take a quick little jaunt down to the cow facility. I, there's a mixing station down there, I believe. And I can probably just put it into the cow mixing station. Uh, so let's take a little bit of a... Ooh, let's zoom out here a little bit. Jeez. Uh, so let's take a little bit of a tour on this map. This is a really nice looking map. Uh, I like it because the roads aren't so narrow that um, if you're a terrible driver like I am, you're not going to get super frustrated on the roads. And the nice thing is you can actually drive through a lot of these hedges like so, which is really nice. So if you do happen to make a mistake, you can easily just correct it. Uh, and they have some cool little stuff like this as well where you have some areas where the road is a little bumpy. So this is what I, what I did here is I made this into one big field, which is actually what you're supposed to do. Essentially, so you this is a, they don't label this as a field in this map, but they make it as if uh, they're like, well, this is a field you can use, sort of thing. So, uh, and you can join it. So that's what I did. I joined those two fields together. So now I have one big field, essentially. All right, let's turn here. The nice thing about this track, it's a little small um, in terms of how much it can hold, but it's nice because it does allow you to uh, maneuver really easily along this map because. Uh, if you're, if you have problems doing stuff, it's really easy just to mess around and just go and use it as you need. Uh, let me show you what I actually have on this map. I actually uh, sold like everything, base sold most things. I just kept a few things, as you can see. Uh, so we have a seed pallet, apparently. Uh, we have 3650. We have the TLS modding, which is the same guys who did um, uh, Banty Cow for memory serves uh, mowers. Uh, Forge wagon, rake, uh, fertilizer spreader, and then a John John Deere, and then a Puma 160 we have as well. Uh, so we don't have that many things, but I, what I was going to do, actually we could do it this way. Instead of me doing all of this and running all the way around, uh, let me do it this way. So let's go ahead and under ride protection on or off. Oh yes, I forgot I could do that. Uh, so let me just do it this way then. So this is one of the cool things about uh, Upside Down. He's like, hey, if you don't want to go ahead and and um, go and, oops, oh, choose silo fruit. Well, that's not work. That doesn't work the way I wanted it to at all. I'm supposed to be able to uh, choose silo fruit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh. I guess what's happening here is I was going to. Uh, sell it using the other mod, but I guess it's not going to work now, for whatever reason. Hmm, that's really strange. Anyways, I guess we'll take a little bit of a trek down there. Uh, we're going to go down to the beef facility, and I'll just show you guys around. Did it actually sell it? Maybe it did, because it cost me money. No, it didn't sell anything. Hmm, strange. Anyway, so here's a, here's one of the bigger fields right here, field number 12. Nice little field. Oh, there's the Quaff, uh, I think you pronounce it as. Pub. Uh, but they did a really nice job on this map. I like the, I really like the trees like set up around certain areas, although they are annoying as well, set up in certain areas. But uh, it's really nifty because, you know, just a lot, of, like, a lot of the scenery on this particular map is really nice. So if you want to, you know, enjoy some of the scenery here, you can easily do so. Uh, just by driving around, really. Uh, they do have quite a large forestry area as well on this map, which is really nifty. Uh, it's just east of the Old Ridge Hotel, uh, down in that area. And also, in just north of Field 22, there is a portion of the map that's dedicated towards uh, forestry. So It's a little bit everywhere, basically. Uh, we actually own this section right here as well. It's a little... I don't know, actually. There's a... 
There's a couple areas which are kind of like your areas that you can use, and I think, I don't know, but I was watching, oops, I was watching David Oldfield, and I don't know if they implemented this into this particular or thing or not, but one of the things you, you used to be able to do, well, you can unload it here, so you can actually store TMR and stuff like that. Right in here, so grass, straw, grass, forage, and whatnot. So you can store that in there as well, which is kind of nice. So it's one of the cool things they did. Let's just turn around here, back up in that little area there. Actually, we don't even need to do that. This thing is so small, you can do a little turn without a problem. Uh, so that's one of the cool things that they do have some storage areas here. I wasn't sure if they actually put those in or not, but you can actually just store things right in there, which is really cool, actually. So. Uh, makes it really nice. So if you uh, if you want to store things like I just did there, you can easily do it on this map as well, which makes it a pretty cool looking map, if you ask me. A pretty cool little uh, aspect. But look at that water right there. They did a gorgeous job. Like this is the map I actually tested the JCB pack out on. I was just like, oh, let's test it out, see how it is. And um, that's where I was really like, wow, why don't I play? Why haven't I played this map more often? Because it's a really nice map. Um, really like it. They did a really good job on on the map, if I do say so myself. Really like the work they put into it. It's nice. It's a just. It's nice just to drive around, actually. Uh, and the funny thing is, if you are like me and use course play uh, a lot, this map you can use course play on this map, but you kind of have to be like a bit more skillful in the way you go about using it because you run into problems. So, all right. We could actually. Nope, I can't even rent the animal trailer. Actually, now that I think about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually, want to go north. All right, don't hit the tree. Perfect. Uh, so what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and sell a load of soybeans, and hopefully that'll make us a little bit of money, just so we don't we're not in the negatives anymore, basically. Uh, let's take this little pathway here. This thing always confuses me. I'm not sure if that's just meant if it's actually meant to be a road or not, or if it's more. It looks like like a bike path the way it's set up actually. Uh, let's come up to our silo up here and we'll go ahead and sell a load of soybeans. So this is a multi-fruit map. It has soybeans and it has alfalfa and I think it has oats as well. I would actually have to double check now. Uh, wheat is empty, barley, canola, corn, soybeans. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder what uh, what uh, what did I do there that threw that off? I wonder. All right, so let's go ahead and check to see where's the best place to sell soybeans. Uh, what do we got here? Animal market. Nope. Uh, soybeans transport company OEB LTD 389 at Decalp that seems like it's the best one actually I think I have an is it this or this yes I have this set up as well I forget where I found this though uh, so this is probably like gives you an overview of everything all at once so let's see here we're looking at soybeans which are no that's compound feed I guess that is where is it oh down here so 398 at the farm shop is our best bet okie doke don't ask me where I got that mod because I have no idea I think it's actually from one of the mods I down it's it's from one of the mods I actually downloaded what was that oh my gosh I forget already farm shop it was the farm shop all right so let's head north then uh, I'm not sure where I picked it up, uh, but it is a nice little mod that gives you an overview. You just have to remember to use it. Uh, one of the problems I ran into was actually it was the same to turn it on. It was the same button. Uh, it was the same button as my Animal HUD to turn this on and off, for example. Uh, unfortunately, the Animal HUD only works with. Uh, uh, we can do it this way. It only works with the standard in-game animals. It doesn't work with. Uh, lamb for example doesn't work with uh, beef cows unfortunately so hopefully one of the uh, updates in the future we'll have we'll be able to do it but right now none of it's, it can only do 
just the standard in-game stuff. So yeah, I really like the way that Alpha Alpha looks. They did a cool job, really nice job converting that. Also, there's a little horse farm up here. You can't actually do anything with the horses in this particular uh, version of it, but you do have uh, placeable horses, or placed horses, I should say. All right, so let's see what we can get for this. This is 398. There we go. Let's go ahead and unload. Probably won't get that much, to be honest with you, um, because we're playing on hard as opposed to easy. So if easy, if I were playing on easy, I probably would have had thousands and thousands of dollars already, but we're just clearing a thousand. <laughs> Oof, that's rough. Wow. That's really rough. All right, so we do have 33 lambs that are ready. So, uh, maybe what we can do is, let's just see how much it, it would cost us to rent a animal trailer, and we'll sell some of those animals. Let's see here. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for miscellaneous. There it is. All right, so let's see how much it would cost us to rent it for an hour. Only $87? Okay, we can totally do that. So let's rent that for one hour, and we'll go ahead and sell it. How has it been submerged in water? I didn't do anything to it. And where is the actual shop? I don't know. Oh, I know where it is. Never mind. Actually, I want to turn around then. All right, now I should be able to attach it to this particular truck, but we're going to find out here in a second. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, like I'm playing on hard in this map. And like I said, uh, if you do want me to play like a full on let's play in this map, uh, leave a comment saying you want that. Uh, you know, let me know what you want to do on the map. Uh, I have just been playing on the, just been enjoying it playing on off camera because it's like, it's a, it's a really big change from, um, we can go straight here. It's a really big change from both uh, Manchester and Banticow. So it was really cool to just to mess around and try out some of the stuff on this map. Uh, that I haven't tried out before, so let me know. Actually, there are a few maps out now. I have seen a, a, a few maps come out with the soil mod now, which is nice. So I'm I'm definitely going to do a series on the soil mod because I really like that mod. It's just a question of finding a map with it in it. That's really nice. So there we go. All right, let's pick this trailer up. Now, I believe this thing needs 250 horsepower, so it should be interesting to see whether we can actually uh, pull this with this small little truck or not. Uh, I think it should be able to attach to it, but we're going to find out in a second here. Uh, the survey says... That's pretty close. If it, if it were able to attach, it would be able to do it by now. Really? You can't attach to that? I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it's only high hitch? Hmm. That's a weird, actually. I'm, I was kind of, kind of surprised by that. I kind of expected it to be able to do it. Alright, that's fine. Let's grab the case then. We'll leave this here for the time being. Turn it off. Put the parking brake on. Hop into the case. And we'll go pick that guy up. Uh... I was using a JCB on this map. I just uh, was renting it because I couldn't afford to buy it. Uh, because you do need to have uh, quite a bit of money to buy a JCB. So I rented it for a bit for a bit of field work and then I returned it. So that's the reason why I don't have the JCB at the moment. So that's the deal behind that. All right. Yeah, I really like the way this map looks. Very, very nice job. Uh, the water just blows, blew me away when the first time I saw it. Like, it's like shimmering. It's just amazing. There we go. Excellent. And uh, I know David Oldfield's playing this map as well. And I know he has a soil mod installed in it already. And with the new soil mod, you do actually have to adjust uh, the pH and fertilizer levels for grass as well. There we go. Uh, which is a nice change. All right, so we are heading. Let's head back to the animal farm here. Uh, so let's head north on this road. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And we'll get it from there. This is where the JCB would come into play. It'd be really nice to be able to just to book around the map really quickly with the JCB, but uh, it's better in this view when you have a trailer behind you like that. 
But, um, yeah, I really like the map. I uh, have been messing around with it, like I said. Just been playing a little single player, nothing doing, not doing anything too crazy on it. Um, been enjoying, I actually been watching David Oldfield's series on it just because I was like, I'm like, oh yeah, he played on this quite a bit, so I wanted to check it out, see what it's like, and uh, I don't know, it's a really nice, a really nice map, so very different like none of the fields are actually square which really makes it a uh, an interesting challenge for the way I play so I like to I like that so far which is good I still haven't done any forestry yet but I suspect that based on my experience so far I might uh, do a little bit of forestry by uh, some tree removal <laughs> that's my guess so far all right, so let's not go into this particular entrance. There's another entrance coming up, which is way easier to get into. We'll take that one. There it is right there. This is the back entrance, I guess. So we do have 33 lambs ready, so let's go ahead and sell these lambs. Uh, we don't have any wool, although we could... Uh, I can't rent sheep. <laughs> uh, really? I can't go... Uh, this goes to their field. I don't want to do that. All right, uh, let's back up here and we'll just go into this section right here. There we go. All right, so let's grab our lamb here and we'll do a little turn around around this corner and then we'll back in. We only have 54 minutes, but we only have one load, so I shouldn't, uh, I wouldn't imagine it'd be a problem. All right. Uh, let's do this. This is where a JCB would be nice. All right, let's go and check this out. Ah, uh, we can't get inside. So there you go. That's the lambs getting put into the the trailer. They did a really nice job with this thing. Look at that. The even different colors as well. That's awesome. Excellent. So we have 33, so we'll probably get the second level there as well. We'll put two more lambs there, and then we'll get ones at the top as well in that second section. So we have 34. That's it. So where do we actually sell lamb? I do not know. Let's see. Lamb goes to the animal market. Well, there's only one option. And where is the animal market? the furthest possible place. Oh no, it's uh, kind of in the middle there. Perfect. Excellent. How did I get how did I get stuck on the way out? That makes no sense at all. Really? All right. Apparently I am stuck. Did not expect that to happen. There we go. A little bit of horsepower, a little bit of torque, never hurt anybody to get it out. All right, so we're heading down to the animal market. Let's go ahead and do that now. So, like I said, if you do want me to play on this map more, or actually record more episodes, because I'm playing on this map regardless whether I record it or not. It's just a question of how much I'm recording it. If you would like me to record more, let me know in the comments. I will definitely oblige, because this is a gorgeous map. It's fun to play on. I don't know if it'll be an everyday, or I'm not sure if it'll be like a... A super regular thing but maybe like you know once once a week or twice a week or something we'll see so many people have played this map already so anything I do is not going to be anything new uh, in comparison to other people so it's really up to you guys if you want to see me play on this map or not all right animal market is just over here it doesn't say where the animal market is it says shop but not animal market on the little mini map which is kind of strange Looks like it's this way. Animal market. Ah, it's right there. Oops, that's a fence in. Don't run into the fence. All right, let's go in here. And because we have steering axles on this thing, we should be fine getting around here. I suspect. I think we can just drive around. Yes, we can. Perfect. This is the animal market right here. <laughs> Apparently that's not a place you can drive around. It's just... I thought I was going to be able to drive all the way around, but apparently not. Apparently I came in like the worst direction possible. Huh. Alright here. 
There we go. I guess the idea is not to drive around it that way. Alright, so this is our turn right here, I believe. I believe this is where we sell lambs as well. Survey says yes. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's sell some lambs. So we have 9,000, 9,000, I wish, $900. Let's go ahead and sell some lambs and see what happens here. 1,000. Oh, actually, we'll make some pretty decent money from this. 1800 Oh, yeah. This is all, this is actually better than the crop we just sold. <laughs> Strangely enough. It did take a while for the lamb to, like, you know, get to this point. So it's not just... I didn't magically... Uh, I didn't magically have this many to start off with. It does take a long time. As you can see up in the top right-hand corner, 14 days on the map already. So consider that. It's actually quite a lot of time. Perfect. There's the last lamb. Let's close that up. Perfect. And we might as well take this back to the shop while we're here. Let's go this way. And this way. Perfect. And take this route around here. Yeah, so it's, um, I don't know, really nice map. I really like it. I've been playing on it for a while now. And I think it's one of the... Oops, that's not the turn I wanted to take. Uh, it's one of the better maps I've seen so far. Uh, one of the better English-styled maps that, I'd, uh, that I've seen so far. It's one of the ones I have enjoyed. Some of the English maps I really don't enjoy very much just because of the way they're designed and it makes it just aggravating to play on for me. Uh, but this map actually is not so bad. Like it's you know small enough to make it English, but not so small that it's you know you want to pull out your teeth playing on the map because you end up you know having to do like a 31 point turn in the middle of the yard somewhere because of the way it's organized. So all right, head this way. I thought I sealed that up again, but it looks like I didn't. Oh no, I did. Good. All right, so we'll return this, and this will be the last order of business for the day. Excellent. All right, uh, we probably could have turned there. Oh, well, we'll take this turn here. Go on the grass a little bit, make sure it's nice and wide. Perfect. Excellent. I think they'll appreciate that. All right, folks, that'll be it for me for today. This has been Old Ridge Farm. Checking it out. Uh, this is the OEB map. Um... Like I said, if you want me to play on the map, let me know in the description. Or let me know in the description. Let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.